Hey, I'm Charlie. I'm a PhD student here in sunny and somewhat hot Arizona, and I study plastic pollution. I will be your vlog leader and expedition host into the world of plastic pollution, uh, ocean conservation, and everything in between. And cats. Also pizza. I suppose you're wondering why I'm here, holding a dog and a killer whale at Tempe Town Lake. This is actually the closest thing we have to an ocean in Tempe, Arizona. And believe it or not, we actually get bald eagles and ospreys, occasionally pelicans in the area. But the first research internship that really captured my heart actually involved a dog and killer whales. And I'll give you just a second to try to figure out what that actually was. I was part of a unique team that used rescue dogs to smell killer whale poop on the water. These samples contain all sorts of important information relating to their health. This includes hormonal data, DNA to identify the pooper and their prey, potential pollution in their bodies, all while maintaining a 200 yard distance from the orca as to not stress them out. Now the next question always is, what does killer whale poop look like and what does it smell like? Well. It looks like green egg drop soup, and it smells like old fish. I'll save you the visuals. Fecal analysis has not only served to better protect these endangered killer whale pods, but important animals all over the world, ranging from wolves to manatees. Fecal analysis is awesome. And because of all this, I'm kind of known as a whale poop guy, but that's equally awesome. Every month, I'm going to bring you guys some cool videos about plastic pollution, ocean conservation, and everything in between. But until then, it's starting to warm up a little bit here, so I gotta release this guy back in the water before he dries out. Catch you later. I wanna thank you guys for watching the video. If you appreciate it, if you have suggestions, definitely leave us a comment, leave us a question. If you would like us to cover certain stories in the future, please email us at science at plasticoceans.org. Thanks for watching.